people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. In today's video we got our first look at U2's upcoming Withered plushies. We've gotten some brand new teasers for not only Into the Pit but also the Joy of Creation, some gameplay footage of Help Wanted 2's flat mode, that and so much more we're going to be talking about in today's FNAF news video. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news, the 10th anniversary coming up in August, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers and I know a lot of you guys watching these FNAF news videos are not subscribed so let's try to get that silver plaque before FNAF's anniversary in August. But speaking of anniversaries our first topic here today is celebrating a few anniversaries because recently on May 28th Help Wanted celebrated its five year anniversary which is absolutely crazy. Can't believe it's been that long but to celebrate Steel posted some fantastic art of Baby and Mr. Cupcake and then also on that same day May 28th was the decade anniversary of Freddy Fazbear himself. Because thanks to some behind the scenes teasers posted on the second anniversary of FNAF, we can actually find out that Scott modeled Freddy on May 28th of 2014. So happy five year anniversary to Help Wanted, happy 10 year anniversary to Freddy Fazbear himself. But moving on now to some book news. First up, let's talk about the upcoming Tales from the Pizzaplex box set, which is set to release later this year on November 12th. However, interestingly enough, it's out right now in Australia. And thanks to some FNAF fans down under, we got some in-person looks at what the box set looks like, featuring some brand new, really fantastic artwork of the Moon Daycare Attendant. He looks very terrifying. But then also for book news, we got a brand new book, the Collectible Sticker Book, set to release on May 6th of 2025. A collectible sticker book filled with terrifying images from all corners of the FNAF universe. The most horrifying animatronics, locations, and artifacts from FNAF are all here in this deluxe book featuring over 100 stickers. With blueprints, trivia, and easter eggs throughout, this fresh, brand new format is sure to attract FNAF fans of all ages. So while on the surface a sticker book doesn't sound too exciting, those blueprints, trivia, and easter eggs really got me looking forward to this book. But like I said, we got a ways to wait with this one. It's not going to release until May 6th of next year. But moving on now to some merchandise, let's start off with everyone's favorite retailer, Hot Topic. And actually, they've been releasing some heat recently. Like this brand new t-shirt of the puppet. Still not sure who the artist is on these new Hot Topic t-shirts, but they are cooking. We've also gotten a glow-in-the-dark fuzzy Freddy Fazbear backpack who's rocking some Jacksepticeye eyes. And lastly, for Hot Topic, we have a brand new pizza box lunch bag featuring the Freddy Fazbear pizza decal. And honestly, this is probably the most fitting item for this design. It looks really good. But moving from one retailer to another, let's take a look at FYE, who have just released some pesto aioli squeeze for some reason. I'm not sure why FYE feels the need to release so many food items based on FNAF recently. Like they brought back the official FNAF gummy pizza, the fizzy fast sodas, which I have been reviewing in shorts. They've also gotten the candy bars, but I feel like now they're really starting to push their limits. I guess this is neat and it kind of fits with the whole Freddy Fazbear's pizza brand, but I do not trust Freddy Fazbear at all with any form of condiments. But I guess if you're interested in adding any Fazbear Fazbear flair to your dishes, you got this if you want it. But moving on now to U2s, ever since they released their brand new FNAF movie wave of figures, they're back teasing what they're working on next. With the first teaser they released being a brand new upcoming Glamrock Freddy beanie. Definitely one of the stranger items that's going to come out of U2s, but I'm looking forward to it because just based off this teaser alone, it looks pretty cute. But as for some more exciting reveals, they just showed off their upcoming Withered Chica plushie. A few months ago, we did hear that they were planning a Withered Freddy plushie, so it does look look like we're getting some withered plushies very soon. Now if you want my honest opinion, as adorable as this plushie looks, I am a little disappointed that U2's is going for a more stylized look as opposed to accuracy with these withereds. I was completely blown away by how incredible and accurate and faithful their withered figures look, and I'm sure it's a pain in the butt to make accurate withered plushies, so I guess stylizing them is the next best thing. And again, I don't think this plushie looks 
looks bad. It looks pretty cute. I'm just a little disappointed that it doesn't look super accurate to what the withers look like. But I'd love to know what do you guys think? I've seen incredible support for this style of plushies. I'm still very curious to see what they're gonna do for Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy. And alongside gearing up for a withered plushies release, it also looks like we're gonna be getting a brand new wave of figures based on the Phantoms from FNAF 3. Because recently, you two showed off some concept art for an upcoming Phantom Freddy figure. And this guy looks insane. I was not expecting any FNAF 3 Phantom figures, but if they're gonna look as good as this concept art, I am all here for it. I'd assume they're doing a Phantom Wave because they're gearing up for that FNAF 3 print release, which would make sense. So I am curious to see what other Phantoms are gonna be included in this wave. And like I said, even if they look half as good as this concept art, it's gonna be an incredible, incredible wave. Moving on now to Hex, they just released their Withered Chica and Withered Golden Freddy plushies. If you remember, Springtrap was supposed to be released during this wave, but unfortunately he has been in death definitely delayed. So hopefully we can get an update on Springtrap's release soon. Daco did say he does want to plan something special because Springtrap has been delayed. But if you're a fan at all of their Chica or Golden Freddy plushies, now you can pick them up. Previously, we have also heard that a Nightmare Own plushie is in the works with this teaser being released. And very recently, Daco also revealed an upcoming Nightmare Own t-shirt, which has an absolutely terrifying but also really hard looking design. And Hex actually just revealed a brand new pin of Nightmare Own. I love collecting some FNAF pins, so I'm very excited that Hex is branching off into this new merch area. This one looks fantastic, and it seems like they're already working on future pins for other characters. And this entire Nightmare Own collection, the shirt, the pin, the plushie, they're set for an October release date, so perfect for Halloween. Next up, let's talk about the joy of creation, because Nixon has shown off yet another gameplay look at the living room level. In this new footage, not only do we see a brand new remote mechanic, Mechanic, but we can also get a good look at Ignited Foxy during this level. It looks like we have the ability to temporarily freeze in place the animatronics, which is a super fascinating mechanic. I'm really curious to see how much this is going to affect the brand new gameplay of the living room level, because in the original T-Jock story mode release, this mechanic was not there. The only defense we had in this level was freezing Freddy and Foxy on the cameras, but it looks like this new mechanic is going to add a lot more strategy to to this level and I'm really looking forward to that. And with brand new gameplay footage comes brand new behind the scenes from Coco Beans the animator for T-Jock. Incredible work as always, these animatronics look so so menacing. We're still waiting on that T-Jock demo release featuring the office level but hopefully we can get some news on that pretty soon. And moving on now to Help Wanted 2, the flat mode version of that game gets released on June 20th. And in preparation for its release, PlayStation released like a 3 second long very short clip of the flat mode version, showing off the endo warehouse level as well as the first aid level featuring Scrap Baby. I'm really looking forward to flat mode. Hopefully it releases on PlayStation as well as PC on the same day. I'd assume it will. And also don't forget on June 20th, not only is that the release date for flat mode, it's also when the game gets released on physical. And finally, let's talk about Into the Pit because the last couple of days we've gotten a lot of news about the upcoming title, including a brand new game play trailer, a brand new secret website, as well as the official Steam page. All of that we've already talked about in a previous video, so I'm not going to recap that all here. But after the release of that video, Megacat Studios did publish an official Into the Pit page on their website, featuring some brand new teasers of the animatronics on the show stage with Oswald running away. We can see an objective tab in the top right, a noise icon underneath Bonnie. It does look like Bonnie's eyes are lit up in this teaser, so that likely means he's now activated and he's making noise. It also looks like we have a tile puzzle featuring Freddy Fazbear, and obviously FNAF fans have already solved this puzzle, giving us a really good look at Freddy. Now some people believe that this is actually Fredbear, because it looks like his bow tie is a lot more purple than Freddy's. However, I really just think this is the lighting, because even in that previous teaser of all the characters on the show stage, Freddy's bow tie does look a bit purple, so I don't think that this is necessarily Freddy. Bear. Though it is interesting to note, looking inside of Freddy's mouth, you can see either some melted flesh or melted parts of the suit, very similar to what the yellow thing has in Into the Pit, or this could be a callback to the FNAF 1 poster of Freddy ripping off his head. Either way, a very creepy image of Freddy. We also had a brand new gameplay gif of Oswald first encountering the ball pit, first getting startled by a 
spider appearing on the screen and then going into the pit he must admit i know everyone loves it when i say that but lastly for into the pit teasers we had mega cat studios reveal something i was not at all expecting and honestly kind of something i wish they didn't show off because in this brand new teaser we can actually see the missing children incident with oswald opening a door finding spring bonnie standing over the bodies of the children that he just killed looks like we even tried to press space to throw a stool at bonnie i'm not sure what we think we're gonna accomplish with that Oswald. Some fans have actually pointed out that this might be a quick time event with that space icon appearing on our screen. So we need to press that and throw the stool at Bonnie before he notices us, but it looks like in this clip he gets to us before we can get to him. But also fans have pointed out it looks like there are actually six dead bodies instead of the usual five in this teaser. Now what exactly that means for the sweet juicy lore FNAF, I'm not actually quite sure. But this teaser is just an absolutely grim, gruesome new look at into the pit that i am so excited to check out again i kind of wish they saved this as a surprise for the game and didn't show this off to the public but i mean it gets me more excited i think this is our first time we've actually seen dead bodies of children instead of just 8-bit sprites you know but that is going to do it for today's fnaf news video i'd love to know what are your thoughts theories on everything we've talked about today thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye